Hi guys, here's Edgar with Enchanted Forest Farm. We have a uh, new addition to the farm today. And here it is. This is a 30 ton North Star Log Splitter from Northern Tool. I picked up last week. I've been waiting for the hydraulic oil to come in the mail. And uh, so I'm gonna add uh, engine oil and uh, hydraulic fluid. This one takes this thing called ISO 32 hydraulic oil. So I bought these from two different companies because they they are um, short in the one. So I got this one, and it's not the same as that. This is uh, universal. This one is specific to the machine. So this one takes nine gallons. So I'm gonna add five gallons of the correct ISO 32 and then I'll add four gallons of the universal it really doesn't make much of a difference I mean I do like to add the one that's recommended for the actual machine but the hydraulic fluid is hydraulic fluid so we're going to be adding hydraulic fluid uh, engine oil and of course fuel and uh, we're going to be firing it up and uh, trying it out So what you saw in the time lapse was me attempting to add the hydraulic fluid, but the funnel is too big for the hole and the machine. So now I'm gonna have to change and I'm gonna use this way smaller one. I wanted to use that one to make it faster. You can see this hole is certainly way bigger than this one so there you go it's about uh, maybe about 35 40 percent smaller but no big deal as long as I'm able to do it now this wing it's uh, sort of in the way so I'll try to figure something out. All right, so I move the camera closer the hydraulic uh, fluid with that little funnel and uh, sort of got a, I had to cock it this way because if I put it that way it's on the um, edge of that piece of metal uh, log the log um, wings or whatever they're called so I uh, cock this here and of course very difficult to do it alone so I'm gonna I try to prop the oil on this other container and sort of try to grip it and uh, not break my back so much. Another roadblock, it appears that this funnel slow it could be and I'll be here until next week so I gotta find a different funnel without that screen the protective screen so I'll find that one and I'll try it again okay so what I did was I used this funnel which was about six five to six inches Bigger than this, it had a crack sort of like right here. So I just chopped it off with uh, my chop saw and I measured it so that it goes into the hole, but it doesn't get past the wing, that log wing there, so that it sort of kind of stays sturdy. That when I'm pouring the oil, hopefully the weight of the oil doesn't move the funnel aside and I don't, I don't really want to lose any oil. And I definitely don't want any oil getting on the ground. So um, uh, this one, although it was perfect, uh, that uh, mesh, the protective mesh there that protects from contaminants getting into the motor, it actually slowed it down too much. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, use that one for now. On. Okay, I got it all together. The hydraulic fluid, fuel, and oil. So I'm 
about to crank it on for the first time. Let's see how it goes. Fuel on, choke on. Alright, so that was a piece of cherry that uh, it's really been sitting in the yard for about a year and a half now. So obviously it, uh, it's not good. So I just wanted to try that to, to see how it worked. I'm going to try a different piece. This piece, it's much bigger and looks like a little more solid. She's solid. So let's try to put it here. When I got the uh, the four-way wedge installed, normally on these big ones I would not um, use it, but uh, I'm going to use it just for demonstration. So this was the other piece of cherry. It's uh, from the same tree, so it's about a year and a half, but uh, this one was a little better covered than the first one. And this here was the center part, and it split it like nothing. This is still pretty heavy. So there you go. Oh my God, it sounded solid. Listen to that. So that was still solid. And uh, the worst good, I guess, we're gonna take it back there to chop uh, some of that oak. That one is uh, was cut uh, probably about a month ago. So I'm gonna hitch it back there and uh, show you a couple of cuts from there. Why did it do that? The motor, when the thing goes up, it goes to, um, it slows. to a slow mode. That's, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But this one. Let's see how it goes down.
That's cool as hell. Okay, so I'm about to split this uh, the largest log that I can possibly fit into the splitter, so let's see how it works. Well, as you can see, it split that pine, the bigger pine here, like nothing. And then that um, cherry, this is, uh, I said yesterday, this was an old cherry I had laying around. It's about a, probably about a year and a half has been sitting around, really under the element. So it's, uh, it wasn't all that great, but uh, you know, this, this part here, the, the center part is, nice and red and still good for the fireplace the other stuff i just use outside so that, that's how long it's been sitting out there and that's uh of course what nature does but anyhow the log splitter it's working really nice well uh i know it's been a long video but uh thanks for watching like subscribe definitely comment i'd like to hear your thoughts and uh any recommendations, any hints, pointers, uh, I'll accept uh, criticism too. Enchanted Forest Farm.